Once you're done designing, you may want to publish and print it or send it for print somewhere else. In that case, there's the print setup right here. So you can go into file and go to print. And you can see that there are print setups that you can choose from. So over here, I do not have a printer attached. So I have Microsoft PDF, uh, print to PDF, which is a default PDF printer. Or you can also use Adobe PDF. If you have Adobe Acrobat installed, this will appear right there. So now uh, here in the settings, you can either print all the pages or print only the selection. In my case, I only have one page, so I do not need to worry about it. So I'm just going to leave it as it is. If you have a uh, certain page numbers and so forth, you can actually set the page number right here. For example, I just want to print two to three, uh, two to three page or two through four, then I can actually type this and leave it as it is. So in my case, I'm just going to leave it blank uh, and select print all pages right here. Right, so pages one right here. Uh, so you can also set for one page per print or have a tiled uh, type of a design right here. So you can also have a tile design as you can see right there. You can also have multiple copies per seat. So if you have more pages, you can actually uh, work with multiple copies right there. So let me just create a duplicate right here. So I'm going to insert duplicate page right here. So I got two pages and I'm going to show you how it works now. So I'm going to go into print and there are the tiled uh, pages right here and multiple copies per seat right here. So let's see how that works out. So it's creating a preview and you can see that two pages are be being printed at the same time. So if you want to create contact cards and so forth, print everything out in one single page, then you can actually do this as well. You can also have multiple pages per seat. So if you have different pages, you can, you can see that there are multiple pages per seat right here. Or you can also go for side fold options right there. So it all depends on what you want. Side fold, half seat as well. So if you want to fold a design, half seat, and if you have multiple pages, then this is great for designing books and so forth. You have different type of pages you can print into. So, uh, for example, A4 size paper, just like this. So everything fits out just like that. So I'm just going to say uh, multiple copies right here. And let's see how that works out. So you can see that both of the pages are being fit in tabloid right here because that is how um, big the size is. So if you are printing it out in a same piece of paper, then this is the one that you should go for. So I'm just going to go for one seat of paper right here and work with other settings. So you can either print on landscape or portrait paper. And this is how it prints out in the paper itself. This is tabloid. So if I were to press A4, you can see that it actually fits out the piece right here. I can also go into um, like, let's say bigger size. Uh, in different ways just like that and I can also print this one-sided or even si print two-sided so if uh, uh, your printer actually supports two-side printing then you can actually select this as well right now the print is in color I can also select grayscale right here for a black and white printing so if your printer is grayscale uh, you don't want to use color then you can use grayscale printing as well and I'm going to simply select Adobe PDF and I'm going to print it out, right? So it's waiting for the printer on the desktop. I'm so just going to leave it as it is and press save right here. So it is printing out. Uh, it's using the Adobe uh, printer right there. So my PDF has been created. As you can see now, you can see that the PDF is actually there, just like that. So that is how you can uh, work with print setup inside of Microsoft Publisher. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.